um, you're here today to really raise awareness around the lack of funding, particularly in Victoria, but mm -hmm. um, for legal aid as a whole um, within this country. So tell us a little bit about why you think um, and what changes can, can happen in order to overcome some of these issues. Well, philosophically, the parliaments are there and our elected representatives are there to make laws in the interest of the community. So we've had the world's largest research tell us that 25% of the population will have a legal problem in any one year, and half of those will disclose that as a serious problem. We've also had, um, we know that 14% of people in Australia live below the poverty line, but only 8% of people qualify for legal aid. That's not me talking, that's the Productivity Commission talking. Mm. And they've said that a dollar invested in legal aid more than pays for itself in money saved in social security in in health and other related costs. So it's an economic no-brainer to invest in legal aid and it's a moral imperative, I think, to really create that society that the Australian Fair Go folklore is made up of, but which we're not actually seeing in our everyday practice.